Hi Sagittarius and welcome to your weekly tarot reading. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you're doing really really well. For this reading this is a general reading for any sun moon or rising Sagittarius sign. We're going to look at the cards. We're going to get a sense of the awareness for the week or the big ideas, guidance and possible outcomes. I will also choose a few oracle cards for additional information and messages for the week. So let's see what the cards have in store for you. Okay, in your current energies, the sun, such a positive card of the life force and the beauty of the sun, which is that it radiates on everyone and it brings forth your desire to inspire, to be creative, to enjoy life. It's such a uh, card of um, vitality and of, again, energy. So October, you, you're going to be having a lot of energy to be creative and to pursue your passions. This red cape is indicative of passion and this carefree wonder of this child riding the horse without clothes on, there's a sense of feeling free and really uh, soaking in the sun's light and letting your light shine and finding uh, the best you in October of, you know, just really taking in the vitality, the confidence, the energy, letting the light enter your heart and your soul. So it's a beautiful place to begin in thinking about, which is the sun, the life force and vitality, energy, and radiance. What's crossing you is the nine of cups, and this is a great card. This is a cup of, I'm sorry, this is nine full cups above this gentleman. He's sitting down. He looks very pleased with himself. He looks very content, and that's really the message of the nine of cups, happiness. Uh, having the things that you want, whether that's material, whether it's spiritual, but you have material comforts of what you need and, you know, underlying and underneath where you arrive at this place, there may have been a lot of hard work to get there and sacrifice. And so now there's a sense of enjoyment with what you have. This is also known as the wish card that you make a wish it'll come true so be careful for what you are wishing for but what's crossing you is a positive powerful card of the nine of cups in your foundation it's the three of pentacles and pentacles uh, we have taurus virgo capricorn and this is a sense of working well with others group activities whether this is a you know, a softball team that you're playing on, your work group, a study group, whatever it may be, that you're working well as a team and that you're listening to feedback perhaps. Now, this is also a card of being talented in what you do. And so whatever you may choose to do in your life, you're doing it well. You have skills, you are being recognized and appreciated for those skills and you can see this builder is working on the cathedral and it takes time and energy and training to become an artisan and to become skilled at something and so with this three of pentacles you are you have talents you may be thinking of getting some more training in October expanding your skill set maybe going to a workshop maybe uh, you know just getting some more feedback from people that you work with. In your recent past, you have the Fool. And the Fool is of new beginnings, a new phase coming into your life, a new project, and it's with wonder and with excitement on your part that you are uh, having, you're going to have fun with this, whatever it may be. Maybe you're pursuing a new relationship. Maybe you're in a relationship that's going to take a new turn. Maybe it's a new career or hobby, but there's this sense of taking a leap of faith and having faith in your own journey and the journey that you want to take and having faith that the universe is going to guide you into the places that you want to go to. And if you 
<clears throat> look carefully, there's the little dog here like barking and saying, look out, watch where you're stepping. And that can be symbolic of people in your life saying, hey, why would you be doing that? Why risk your current place? You know, you're doing so well in your job. You may be really unhappy and you feel that you have to make a change. And the people are saying, well, just stay at it for a little bit longer. Well, the fool is the message that you have to trust yourself. You have to fa have faith in yourself and your own journey. What's crowning you is the Two of Cups. Another beautiful card, a lot of cups. Uh, with the Nine of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. The potential of a really deep emotional connection with someone else, meeting someone who could be a potential soulmate, someone that could finish your sentences when you start something and it just knows you so well because they're on equal standing here. There's balance within this relationship. There's harmony. And uh, it is really the potential for a deep emotional connection. Doesn't always have to be romantic. It could be a business relationship or a great friendship that is uh, unique in, in its bond. Because this is a very deep bond. So whether you're in a relationship, you may be strengthening your bond. Or if you're looking for a relationship, October is your month, Leo. Keep your eyes open. Put yourself out there. Take chances. Meet many new people. You never know what may happen as a result. In your future, in your near future, what's ahead of you is this crossed two of swords. Swords, energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And this woman is blindfolded and is crossing her heart with the two swords and often twos um, relates to having to make a decision. But this is a decision that maybe you don't want to have to make, that you're trying to put off. You're blindfolded, you're crossing your heart. Maybe it's something you want to defer and you just don't want to take care of it. Um, you just really don't want to deal with it. And, you know, you may be forced to make a decision, but with the Two of Swords, there's a sense of, of not really wanting to look clearly at a situation and of not wanting to act or make <clears throat> a decision. You have two possible opposing uh, avenues that you're going to have to decide on, but you're not really looking clearly at it. Where you are right now is the Wheel of Fortune. Really think of the Wheel of Life. The Wheel of Life indicates movement. So within where you are right now, there's a lot of movement. There's a lot of things happening. Maybe a lot of new thinking in terms of new projects, of working hard and enjoying what you have, of working together. But this is, you know, the, the Wheel of fortune is about the random events that occur in life. Life is swimming along and then something pops up and it changes direction. It changes your direction. Whether that's the, the universe or destiny or fate speaking, you still have power within to influence your direction. So with the wheel of fortune, things are moving. You might have to make a decision quickly, even though you may not want to. And uh, the wheel will continue to, to, to go. And these are experiences that you learn from, these random events that happen that shape the life. So in October, things are spinning, you are moving, you have got things in the fire. Um, and it's good, it's, a, it's energy, it's a lot of energy. And it's positive energy. And it's a lot of energy at your very central energy, which is the sun. In your environment, you have Six of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This is a trip to down memory lane. This is a, thinking of nostalgic times and, and, and thinking of times that brought you maybe happiness or joy or just remembering. And There are times in life when you need to just sit down and think about a good time. Maybe there's an ex that you're thinking about. Maybe there's old friends, college buddies locations that you um, lived in, but this is uh, to help you uh, help you through your days. Now, 
the other thing to think about is not to dwell in the past. Because if you get stuck in the past, then you really can't move forward to bringing in new love, um, to bringing in and making wishes come true. That you have to, uh, this, you have to put nostalgia in the right perspective. Also with the six of cups, this is a sense of gentleness and of kindness, compassion, and of being thoughtful to others. So in October, don't hesitate to show consideration for others of being grateful and, and um, respectful for other people. In your hopes and fears, you have the lovers, which is Gemini. And the lovers is, again, the potential of a serious long-term relationship, marriage, engagement, living together, being exclusive. And so often there are decisions to be made about the direction of this relationship. And so perhaps your wish is to find your soulmate and you're on, you know, there's this path that's opening up for you that is uh, the lovers, which is a deep emotional connection, desire, passion, understanding each other, able to uh, ride out the ups and downs, but there may be a decision that you need to make with this lover's card uh, in, in how's it going to play out? Is it the right person for you? Is this the dream that you're hoping for ultimately to get engaged, to get married, to live together? Or Gemini here, and of course it could be anyone. And then in your outcome, there's again a sense of, of this is a uh, five of swords. Five of swords, we see this guy standing here. He's holding on to, to two swords. He's got the other ones. He's actually got three swords. And the other folks are walking away in defeat. There's a clear winner and a loser in this illustration. And so there's a situation that you may come out on top or you may feel that it's not worth it and you're going to let it go and move on because it's not serving your interests. And you often have to think about at what cost does it take to win? Am I going to lose some friendships along the way? Um, or it's like, I don't even want to deal with this mess. I'm, I'm laying down my sword. I'm getting out. So what a positive uh, reading in October, starting with the beauty of the sun and the radiance and the energy and the desire to create and to um, to to be recognized and to feel that the, the vitality within your life crossed by the nine of cups, abundance, contentment, happiness, wishes coming true, working well and being perhaps recognized for your good work, but working toward a common goal and you know your rewards will come to you. And then in your recent past, thinking about the full, which is new beginnings, a new phase coming your way. Is the new phase related to a relationship, to a possible soulmate, a connection that is significant that could result in marriage or engagement or living together? Something, decision-making, Maybe not really wanting to deal with it at this time. Perhaps you're deferring it, just not wanting to go there. But really with, you know, events are spinning and moving within your life, you've got a lot going on. New projects, working hard, potential of love. If you're in a loving relationship, deepening that bond. Maybe making some decisions that affect your life. If you're tripping down memory lane, just having some good memories, thinking about what was. Uh, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, maybe you're going to meet up with someone from your past. The lovers, Gemini, deep emotional connection, decisions that affect this relationship, and then some a battle that may or may not be worth uh, winning. <laughs> so let's, let's take another look at uh, love here and get some more information since it's really showing up. And... 
We have a little bit of everything. We have swords, we have cups, pentacles. Okay. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. You have a lot of room here for passion in October. Or at least the beginning of getting it started. You have a lot of room to experience passion and connection and emotional attachment and desire, fulfilling desire. Uh, even with the sun having that earthiness that, you know, let, let your passion release it, allow it, and be happy, you know. This is a card of joy. The sun is a card of joy as well. And finally, to close out, whoops, the reading, let's pick a card to think about, to contemplate, to meditate for October. Express your creativity. Thank you, angels, for helping me to express, ex express my inner creator. And your creativity coming from the sun, which is inspiring you to be creative, to uh, make the most of your abilities and your talents, to let your talents shine, to let them flow. Whether it's creating a relationship A new relationship, strengthening a bond, leading to a significant long-term thing, then let it, just um, embrace it and feel it and let it, let it come out, let it shine, let your light shine in October. So what a nice reading for you. Boy, I hope, I hope you have a great October. So keep me posted. If you found something helpful here, please like, share, or comment. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. It's a great way to stay connected, and I really do appreciate it. And um, I hope, I really thank you for taking the time for watching this, and I hope that you have a great October. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.